to the holidays, lots of us have family heirlooms that have been passed down from generation to generation. The Now Buffalo's Mike Randall shows how a cherished holiday collection now entertains one local family all year round. Dave Haydick has a pretty terrific train set. A lot of changes were made over the years. He used to put it up and take it down every Christmas. But that got to be a lot of work. It stays up now. It's up the snack or down now. His train villages have all the details we look for this time of year. Ice skaters, neat little buildings that light up, and of course Santa, several of them. I just enjoy it for Christmas, that's all. But it's always the trains that get most of the attention. And why not? Some of Dave's trains are pretty old. That one back here is 48 years old. This whole train thing got started for Dave a long time ago. My father built this when I was born. He just celebrated his 85th birthday. That means this original section, built by Dave's dad, has seen 85 Christmases. So has the original 1932 Lionel train. Dave says it still runs. Have you had to do anything over the years to fix it up or maintain no. it in no. any way? They just put it on a track and let it run. That's all. Through the years, this train set has entertained Dave's seven kids, 27 grandchildren, and 18 great-grandchildren. His daughter Marie said it was all fun and games except for the setting up and taking down part. Boards all come apart in sections so we could pack it up, so it was a lot of work. Dave was 15 before his dad let him help put up the train. It was at my father's house until I got married. They should take it out of here. <laughs> so Dave's wife Ann gained a husband and a train set. Keeps him happy though, huh? Yeah, keeps him busy. There's a special kind of magic that a toy train brings to the holiday season for little kids and big ones. But Dave Haydick figured that out a long time ago. It's still great. <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> I'm still there. For the Now Buffalo, I'm Mike Randall.